Hello, Book Foxes. Welcome back to At the Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life one summary at a time. Today, we're diving into Malcolm Gladwell's fascinating book, Outliers The Story of Success, a non fiction psychology and business book published in 2008. In this stunning book, Malcolm Gladwell takes us on an intellectual journey through the world of outliers, the best and the brightest, the most famous, and the most successful. He asks the question, what makes high achievers different? Gladwell begins with the Matthew effect, a term borrowed from the Bible, which he uses to explain how initial advantages can lead to further opportunities and success. For instance, in Canadian hockey, players born in the first few months of the year are more likely to be selected for elite teams simply because they are older and more physically developed than their peers. This initial advantage snowballs leading to more practice, better coaching, and eventually a higher chance of becoming professional athletes. The key takeaway? Small, seemingly insignificant factors can have a huge impact on long-term success. Next, Gladwell introduces the famous 10 hour rule. He argues that to achieve mastery in any field, one needs approximately 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. Take the Beatles, for example. Before they became a global sensation, they spent countless hours performing in clubs in Hamburg, Germany. This intense period of practice helped them hone their skills and develop their unique sound. Similarly, Bill Gates had early access to a computer and spent thousands of hours programming before founding Microsoft. The lesson here? Talent is important, but dedication and practice are crucial. In The Trouble with Geniuses, Gladwell contrasts the lives of Christopher Langan, a man with an IQ of 195, and Robert Oppenheimer, the physicist who led the Manhattan Project. Despite Langan's extraordinary intelligence, he struggled to succeed due to a lack of social skills and opportunities. On the other hand, Oppenheimer's success was not just due to his intelligence, but also his social savvy and the opportunities he seized. This comparison highlights that while intelligence is a factor, social skills and timing also play significant roles in achieving success. In The Three Lessons of Joe Flom, Gladwell examines the life of Joe Flom, a successful lawyer, to illustrate how demographic luck, cultural background, and the timing of opportunities can shape one's career. Flom's Jewish heritage, his birth during the Great Depression, and his entrance into the legal field when corporate law was on the rise all played crucial roles in his success. This chapter serves as a powerful reminder that while talent and hard work are essential, the context in which we find ourselves can be just as important in determining our success. In The Power of Community, Gladwell explores how the environment and community around us can shape our achievements and opportunities. He highlights the story of the town of Rosetto, Pennsylvania, where the close-knit community experienced remarkably low rates of heart disease and other health issues. Researchers discovered that it wasn't diet or exercise that contributed to their good health, but the strong social bonds and supportive relationships within the community. Gladwell argues that the strength of our communities and the support we receive from those around us can play a significant role in our success and well-being. This chapter serves as a reminder that while individual effort is crucial, the collective support and connection we share with others can amplify our potential and lead to extraordinary outcomes. Gladwell also delves into the importance of cultural legacies, in rice patties and math tests. He explains how the rigorous work ethic required in traditional rice farming in Asia has contributed to a culture of persistence and hard work in academics. This cultural legacy helps explain why students from these backgrounds often excel in math and science. Similarly, in the ethnic theory of plane crashes, he shows how cultural attitudes towards authority and communication can impact critical situations such as in aviation. He analyzes a series of plane crashes and uncovers that many were not due to mechanical failure but rather miscommunications between pilots and crew members. In Marita's Bargain, Gladwell examines the impact of extended learning hours on students from disadvantaged backgrounds. The Knowledge is Power program, or KIPP schools, provide additional hours of instruction, which helps bridge the educational gap for students who might not have supportive learning environments at home. Marita, a student at KIPP, sacrifices a lot of her free time for education, which ultimately sets her on a path to success. This chapter underscores the importance of providing equal opportunities and resources to all students. So, what can we take away from outliers? First, success is rarely just about individual effort. It's about taking advantage of opportunities, leveraging cultural legacies, and putting in the hours of hard work required. 
Whether you're an aspiring artist, entrepreneur, or student, understanding these factors can help you navigate your path to success more effectively. Remember, it's not just about where you start, but how you make the most of your circumstances. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. If you enjoyed this summary, make sure to like this video and subscribe to at the Book Fox Summaries for more insights into the most impactful books. Share your thoughts on Outliers in the comments below and let us know which book you'd like us to summarize next. So, Book Foxers, hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.